welcome to another video. Um, this one turned out a little bit different in the end from what I was originally planning, but I think that might be okay. See, originally I wanted to try different types of makeup sponges and um, test how they would translate between liquid makeup and acrylic paint. This one is a silicone blending pad, which I have never used for my face, but I don't plan on now that I'm seeing that the acrylic paint doesn't spread very well. It took me a long time to get this to spread evenly without streaks or, um, I guess, evidence of dabbing. <laughs> Next, I'm taking a damp beauty blender. These I actually am a fan of, and I am mixing cobalt blue with titanium white and dabbing that all over my canvas. My next color palette option is ultramarine blue mixed with a little bit of titanium white. And I actually did end up liking the beauty blender effect, however it doesn't make your paint go very far. It really um, picks up more paint and soaks it up rather than putting it onto the canvas. So here I'm tearing up a piece of classic wedge sponge. and. Um, these I've used for painting before. I do actually quite like them. Um, I think that out of the three, this is maybe the best option. The only thing I would say is that, um, you know, unless you're willing to clean each piece out, you're going to go through a lot of these wedges because, as you can see, I've already had to switch to a clean surface. So after I've been dabbing some lemon yellow and titanium white mixture onto my canvas, I'm adding just a little bit extra pure titanium white to define the shapes. And for a little extra definition, I'm taking some titanium white mixed with a few specks of vermilion orange um, and creating sort of a pale pink to further define these puffs, <laughs> I guess you could call them. So once I was somewhat satisfied with the lumps of yellowish pinkish white I had made, I left it to dry for a few hours and this was going to be where I called it quits originally, however I didn't much like the result of what I had so off camera I sort of took a micron pen and just started tracing whatever I saw so that I could actually make it into something that I don't absolutely hate. I started tracing out what I saw, and I suppose what I ended up seeing were some sort of mythical sea creatures. At first, this was a shark, but then looking at them a little bit more, they look a little bit more like whale-shark-dolphin hybrids, I guess. <laughs> Not everything has to be realistic. Now, I knew that starting out with such foreign painting tools, I probably wouldn't end up with a masterpiece, and I certainly didn't. Uh, sometimes it's okay not to have a successful painting, and it's all part of the learning process, but I knew I could do something with this one which would make me like it a little bit more than I actually did when I finished painting. Sometimes, when you just want to give up and throw away the progress you've made, it's smart just to wait it out, come back with fresh eyes, and see what you can make out of something you didn't originally like. Now, I'll say this is definitely not one of my favorite pieces that I've done. However, I did learn something important in the process, and so it does mean a little bit more to me than it would have if I had stopped after painting these white, pink, yellow lump things. <laughs> So my overall review of the makeup sponges was that I'm glad that I ended up using the silicone pad to um, create the base layer. As you can see, it didn't affect the painting too horribly, but I knew that uh, the damages would potentially be irreversible if I did not uh, have the option to cover it up with some other color or use something else on top of it. And I did mention this before, but the Beauty Blender, um, while it did create a nice texture, um, it kind of left these circles uh, in the shape of however I dabbed it onto the canvas, and it picked up more paint and soaked it up uh, rather than leaving it on the canvas. So 
I would say if you're going to go the route of a sponge, out of these three, I would recommend using the classic white wedge sponges because they're easy to tear apart to get a more um, natural texture and they're easier to clean, I'm sure, and they are much easier to spend your money on. They're not as expensive as either of the other two options. As always, I will leave a link to all of the materials that I used in the description below if you would like to try them for yourself. Um, everything uh, paint and brush wise, which I didn't really use any brushes, but I guess paint wise I did use Artist's Loft um, acrylic paints and I will leave a link to whichever ones I can find uh, in the description as well as all of the different types of sponges that I used and the Micron pen. For now, all I have to say really is that I hope you enjoyed watching me create this piece. I hope you'll leave me a like as well as hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more. And if there's something specific you'd like to see me do or try or review, then go ahead and leave it in a comment below. I appreciate every view without those things, but they do help me out a bit. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next time with a new one.